Good day, good people. In this new SQL course tutorial, we will talk about the entity relationship model, the ER model. So the topic of this course is what is the ERM and is this important to know because when learning SQL, you don't only learn the commands to create data or retrieve data, but you also need to know how data modeling works. How is a database created and modeled? All right. Let's start and go to the next slide. The entity relationship model, like I said, it is a conceptual tool to describe data. So you have a relational database like the one we are using in Oracle in this case. And it shows this model shows how the different parts of a data model interact with each other. Now, this might seem very abstract to you now, but you will see in a minute with some practical examples what this means. Um, if it's of any interest to you, it's from the 70s. It's a pretty old model of how to um, make databases. And what's more important now is that you have three different things, three different types of objects. Now, the first one you see here is the entity. I will explain in a minute exactly what it is. You have the entity and you have the attribute and you have the relationship. These are the three things that are important in an ER model. You will now see what these are and how they interact with each other. First, let's talk about the entity. The entity is something in the real world, like a man called John Smith, who is an employee. This guy, for example. Okay, he is an entity. He's John Smith. He's an employee. He has a birth date. And this brings us to the attribute. An attribute is any useful information about an entity. Attributes are the columns later in the database and entities are the rows. But you will see this graphically. No worries. John Smith is born on December 24th, 1990. Okay, this is the attribute. So John Smith is the entity and his attribute is, for example, his birth date. So far, so good. Then the third thing is the relationship. And a relationship shows you how two entities relate to each other. So, for instance, John Smith could work in a certain department, in the department of, in a legal department, for instance. All right. And so we have two entities. One is John Smith, the other one is the department. And the relationship between those two is important. In this case, department is another table and the relationship is the foreign key. You will see this now in an example. Let's show this graphically. The ER model has entities, attributes and relationships. And this is, for example, the employee table. Remember John Smith, his first name is John. His last name is Smith. The entity is employee. OK, so this is an employee. This is a real world thing. And the attributes of this John Smith guy, like name, email, phone number, ID, are called attributes. So these are the things that are always, so there's no entity without attributes. Okay. Columns are the entities, the rows are the attributes. This is the example from our database from last time employee ID, first name, last name, all the attributes in the entities uh, in the entity is the employee in this case. Now let's erase this for a second to make some space for the other entity, which, like I said before, could be the department and the department has the department ID as an attribute. Now these two entities like the employee and the department can have or must have a relationship and the relationship can look like this one. What this means is that one department 
and several employees. So one department can have several employees, of course, because there could be 10, 20 or 50 people working in one department. But every employee, if you look from left to right, can only work in one department. So this is basically the ER model. You have the entities, the attributes, and here the relationships. This is the R model and you're winning if you got it until here. If you have further questions, put, this, put them in the comments. And since this is a free course, the only currency here on YouTube are likes and subscribe. So please bear that in mind and subscribe to my channel. I see you in the next tutorial.